Good morning. Yes, it is. It's morning. It is 3.31 in the morning and I am on my way to the gym. That's the reason why you can't really see me. <clears throat> I do apologize, but I was uh, thinking about um, I wanted to quickly talk about since I'm on my way to the gym gym etiquette <laughs> yeah you know what way back in the day when I was younger I would say don't let nobody disrespect you don't let nobody disrespect you not disrespect you but disrespect you right you know what? Good morning. How are you? My name is Maya. I'm your host for the next few minutes. Um, I apologize. That was rude. <clears throat> Anywho. Yeah, you can see me a little bit better now. Anywho. Um, and I still kind of sort of feel that way, but I think a lot when it comes to disrespect, you can't control. And so you have to decide as the person who is disrespect, how you're going to respond, right? Gym etiquette. Oh my goodness, I have been a gym rat for some years now, since 2017, I'd say. And I have been to a lot of gyms, and I have seen a lot. And let me explain something to y'all. Normally, when you first go into a gym, what you see, what I see, right, is women are on the treadmill, on the ellipticals, on the bikes and then you have the men are in the um the freeway department or the freeway section consisting of um all free weights the dumbbells the, they dominate majority of the um machines you get what i'm saying i do see that the tide is turning though it's changing and we're starting to see more women who are comfortable in the free weight department. And I think <clears throat> it's not that women are weak, because we're not. Um, I think it's intimidating when we see all of these big burly men and some not so burly. And we just don't want to be in close proximity. Because it's, you know, a, a, a lot of people are... Um, not conditioned enough they have their own securities insecurities excuse me so on and so forth anyway so now we're seeing a change where there are more and more women of all different shapes and sizes by the free weights and I'm here for it but let me tell you something I'm here for it. I think a lot of women are here for it I don't think the men are here for it I'm going to just list you, name you a few things that I've experienced in the gym that goes against gym etiquette, that really grinds my gears, that really upsets me. Um, but I don't be going off on people, but in my head, okay, number one, <laughs> and this happens at least once or twice a week. Now, I go to the gym Monday through Friday. Number one, men. When you are in the free weight area, department, section of a gym, and you already see a female standing there in front of the mirror using the free weights, whether she's doing hammer curls, just regular bicep curls, whatever she's doing over there, do not pick up your free weights and work out directly in front of her. Ooh, that's a bad one. Like she doesn't exist. So, I mean, just imagine you're standing in front of the mirror and you're doing your, your curls, right? Or your shoulder presses, whatever you're doing. And somebody comes and gets their weights and stands right in front of you to use the mirror. Now, there's, there's miles and miles of mirrors, but you choose that one. Rude. Rude. Number two. If you see a female, and, let, and let's be clear, 
can you can tell people who are really there to work out and those who are there for um, a social experiment or using the gym as a social club. You can see this. You okay? I, I would hope so. Number two, if you see a female who is working out, do not come to her tapping her on the shoulder asking when she gonna be done with those with, with the weights don't do that something is tickling my nose it's rude because I have had it happen to me and the worst thing is having to take your headphones off to be like excuse me or huh or yes in the middle of a set Because these are the, 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 the things that I'm bringing up this morning at the good 3.37 in the morning. These are things that other men would not do to other men. Nine times out of ten. Number three. If, if a woman is on a machine. Don't walk up to her on a machine and ask her how much longer is she going to be. But did you ask Toby that? You wait like everybody else, sir. That's what you do. And you know what really grinds my gears? I tell you, the creepy men. There are some creepy men in the gym who you can tell never got any play never got any play when they were younger they might have even been the ugly duckling I don't know but because the gym is nine times out of ten the place where women are um, dressed their, their dress is a lot more limited like I always wear booty shorts I always wear my corset and I wear my um, sports bra right I mean, my, my, my boobs are not revealing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, and my shorts are sometimes like biker shorts and sometimes they're like loose volleyball shorts. It just depends, right? But you have some of these creepy men who will take advantage of the situation and try to start a conversation with you. And, and it's, it's a pickup. Now, I do know that there are some women who go to the gym, and that's just an easy way to, to catch a date, to catch a man, to catch a whole lot of things. I mean, I'm a full-fledged married woman, but um, I have seen it. And and I it has happened to me once or twice where the minute this particular creepy man says good morning, and you respond back with a good morning, he believes in his mind that is an open invitation for breakfast, lunch, dinner, wanna meet your kids. You just like, dude, I just say good morning. So to be perfectly honest, there are some men in the gym that I go to, I don't even speak to because they're that. And then these would be married men. Weird, but not weird. The gym can be a place of drama. You have to be really, really, really careful. You have to be observant. And that's another reason why I pay my trainer. Because when I'm working underneath him, he's not just training me and the people on the team, but he's looking out for all of us girls. Because he's been doing this for 20 some odd years and he's been in the gym longer than 20 some odd years. So he knows, he's seen. That's the reason why when we're working out, he really don't want us to talk. He wants us to come there, get our workout on, go home. Talk before you get to the gym. Talk when you leave. But during is very, you know, it's disrespectful. And although that is something that as being on his team, we understand a lot of other people may not. So, oh my goodness. I'm trying to think of another one. 
Ooh, since COVID. Wipe your machines down, people. Now, I have a luxury. I don't have to wipe my machine down before and after because I have a trainer who does that. But, like, I have seen... This is not just specific to men, but I have seen people get on a machine and not wipe it. Um, do you know we are, for the most part, still in a whole panoramic? C-19 is, is, is a real thing. And before the C-19, you had the flu, you had whooping cough, you had a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> wipe your machine down. I'm trying to think of what else. There are so many things, but you would you would be surprised at the amount of disrespect towards women in the gym. It is absolutely insane. And and I'll be honest, I thought at first that I was just being weird. I'm like this is not. But then when you observe some things it's just it's crazy it, it really is crazy so half the time to be honest because I love what I do in the gym but I understand people um, I don't really even speak that much now there are times when my trainer allows us to get a little kiki but for the most part You can't even say good morning to certain men. Because that opens up a hole, I'm telling you. I even have a girlfriend on the team who is extremely nice. I mean, it doesn't matter who comes through that gym door. And we attend a very big gym, so we could be at one end of the gym. Someone can come through that door, she will go over there, and I'm exaggerating and say, good morning, good morning. In the middle of your workout, good morning good morning and I think it's lovely I don't find anything wrong with it that's just not you know if my trainer got me doing one minute two minute sprints I I can't I don't even have the the breath to say but anyway my girlfriend uber nice the same creepy man that I'm got in my head that I would never say his name I mean I call him in my head peanut head because he got a peanut head right and I know that's that's me, but that's that's a joke within Maya's head, right? Anyway, she's really nice to him, and all she is is nice. What happened? One day she goes to her car, he done put a note on her car. And he's a whole married man. She's a married woman. He put a note on her car, basically professing his like towards her. That he wants to take her out. Yada yada yada. See what I'm saying? And I had to tell my girlfriend, we were laughing about it, but I was telling her, you you part of the problem too, because you always having conversations with him in the middle of your workout. You could be bench pressing and you, and he asking you questions and then, you know, yada, yada, you can't do that. Not to people like him. Because peanut head be on a mission. I'm just saying. So listen. I am turning into the gym parking lot. If you have a goal, right? And your goal is to come to the gym every single day. Your goal is to lose weight, gain weight, whatever it is, build muscle, right? And you have to come to the gym, stay focused. If you're anything like me, I have to have my headphones. Make sure your stuff is charged. Make sure you have a plan. Go in there, knock it out. The gym is actually a very dangerous place. And I'm not speaking in reference to, you know, the gym being nasty. I'm talking about if you don't do a move right, if you don't lift right, if you don't squat right, you can really hurt yourself. Uh, just like me. Now, I hurt my back a few weeks ago, not because of negligence, but just because sometimes I, I do things wrong. And I can't really tell you how and where I hurt my back, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I don't even know. 
So get your life together, get focused. And what will happen is you will see results over time. Just do what you're supposed to do. That's all I have to say about that. All right, good people. I am at the gym. It is 349. Let's see what I have been prescribed. What's today, Wednesday? Oh, that's wonderful. I have the Stairmaster for 30 minutes and the Cybex Arc Trainer Incline for another 30 minutes. It's an easy day. Is today Wednesday? It is. Oh, the stair master, not the step mill. Even better. Okay. So let me get to it. And um, I love you guys. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Stay focused. Don't let these people come up in the gym and um, distract you. It always be the ones who don't have a goal. Who don't have deadlines. Somebody is walking back and forth. Those will always be the per uh, people to knock you off your game. Those will always be the people who. I'm sorry. Who try to distract you. Get you off course. Stay on course. All right, you guys, I'm here. I got to get in this piece. I'll talk to you later.